everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics, and welcome to another Tuesday's Tanks. Today I'm going to be going over one of my nano tanks, a 10 gallon tank that's very special to me. I've got all its inhabitants from a trip to Orlando, Florida, and I visited one of my most favorite fish stores. Come join me and let me explain. So let me tell you a little story. I went down with my girlfriend and her son to Florida. Orlando area and of course anytime when I travel I look for a local fish store and check them out but the name of this local fish store caught my attention aquaholic well I just think that was hysterical I couldn't stop laughing and of course I had to go to visit the store and when I went there it, it felt like this woman who owned the store and ran the store was living my dream she turned a fish hobby into a store. And I just absolutely loved it. But what I brought home with me was two endlers. Um, I believe the variety is Japan Blue. Oh, <laughs> and a Lemon Blue-Eyed Pleca who is in here. I, got, I didn't put them in with my other Blue-Eyed Lemon Pleco because I wasn't sure about breeding and things. Now I want to, and I'm having a hard time capturing him. So I'm not in that big of a rush. I'm just going to let him go. So what I'm going to do today, this is a 10-gallon tank, and I am going to clean it out. And I'm going to show you before and after pictures. But I came home with three. One of the endlers passed away, and I've been trying to find an uh, endler that is uh, of the blue Japan variety because I want... To start a colony i just i can't stop watching this little guy move and move and move and move and non-stop i feel very bad and i'm thinking i want to at least get a trio so i got some of this moss i have this plant in many of my tanks and i don't know the name of it i get it at one of the local stores it comes in a little ball but i also have bought it from several of my friends so I'm gonna have to find out I really have to get better at the names I got a couple plants I got a coconut half shell driftwood and then some Monte Carlo that normally I pull it all apart and segregate it out and it never takes this time I just split it in two and put it in there and I think it's doing amazing I think I found the key for me until I can learn to grow it better I was also trying to grow four-leaf clover, and I do understand that submerged, it changes to like a one-leaf. And it is green and is growing. So I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. There's some mom here. Got a catawba leaf back there. So I'm gonna clean this tank up a little bit. And I'm gonna show you before and after pictures. I really do like this tank. It has a lot of meaning for me. because of the fish. The two endlers were Mickey and Minnie, and the lemon, the blue-eyed lemon was lemon meringue. We just call it meringue, and uh, I'm very sad that Mickey died. Pretty sure they were both males anyway, but I got them all at that local fish store down in Florida. It was the cutest, cutest little fish store I saw. And I must, when I walked in and started talking to her, we talked for hours. And then I went back again the next day. Um, I went there actually instead of going to Disney. I loved it. So let me finish cleaning up the tank and we'll see how it goes.
So the tank is starting to settle down a little bit. Just did a massive water change and I searched everywhere for my blue-eyed lemon pleco. He was nowhere to be found. I can't even imagine. But this isn't the first time that I, this has happened with me with one of my fish. So I'm just gonna let it go as he's in there and he just wasn't visible. He disappeared, but he will appear. I mean, that's the best I have to go on. <laughs> so this is what the tank looks like now after I've escaped it. I've changed things up a little bit, cleaned it up a lot. So hopefully my Endler and my invisible blue-eyed lemon pleco will have a nice new home. Well, that was one of my five-gallon tanks. Thanks for watching my Tuesday's Tanks, and I hope to see you next week.